In today's video, we're going to create this animated render using After Effects and Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So first of all, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. In, at the end of the video, we are going to have a special class recommendation that is going to be very, very useful for us architects. So let's get started. So our first step is to open Adobe Premiere Pro and we create a new project. We can name it whatever we want and save it wherever we want. And after we create this new project, we go to file and where it says new we create a new sequence once we create a new sequence we select the sequence that has the configuration of 1920 by 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second so if you guys search over there you're going to find uh, that configuration and you open it and we are going to go to our folder look for our images the five three two renders that we want to modify and drag them into our timeline right so that is the first step our second step is going to be uh, to right click on top of the images we're going to go to our first image right click on top of it and where it says replace with after effects composition we're going to click right there that is going to open our after effects program we are going to save it with a specific name and now you're going to see this interface where you have your your image and a timeline very similar to Premiere Pro and a layer panel very similar to Photoshop so we are going to go to our layer where it says the first image and we're going to right click and select pre-compose when we select pre-compose it's going to create a folder more or less more more like a nested folder inside the image and we are going to double click inside this image this is so we can make all of our modifications inside the image and we outside we can you know do whatever to the image but it doesn't affect the original image our next step is going to be to add the text and the outlines of our render. So the idea here is to add any informative text that we want to communicate to the person that is watching the video. And we also want to create some different outlines of the most important subjects of the video. So this isn't uh, you know anything new. You can do this. This is the same thing you can do in Photoshop. So when you press Control T on your keyboard, you you have the text tool. So I I wrote down Park View, and I later wrote down other different smaller texts. But Park View is the title of the image, and with the pen tool that you can find in your top bar, you want to start outlining different subjects. So first, I outlined the guy that was you know like in the foreground of the image after i finished outlining him i created a new i you know didn't select any other layers and i started outlining the plaza or the space that it was in which i think was the second important thing and finally i outlined in a very rough way the the tree that was very near the foreground so these were the three elements that i thought were relevant to the image it wasn't anything new for, for now they are not animated they don't have any special effects they're just white outlines that you want to 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 create so for for, for this you have to remember to have your fill option off and your stroke option on so you can have these outlines and finally what i did was create a diagonal line behind or below the park view title so you could uh, animate it in the future and a circle a dark a white circle uh, that uh, stems out of this line right so this was the the only thing so that here we created text and we created the outline we have an animated thing animated anything yet we just created it okay let's animate first things first let's animate the text so let's select park view over here click on this arrow right here 
and it says animate over here. We're gonna go click, click on animate and go to where it says opacity. Now where it says opacity, I'm gonna click on it and drag it to zero. Now I'm going to open this range selector and where it says start, I'm gonna, let's see, this is, this is our time frame. So it says one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. I'm gonna go where it says one second Press start over here and now we're going to put it to 100 now we're going to go to, to the two second to the 1 and 20 second mark and put it to park view so if, if we press play it's gonna look like this right so now let's go to advanced and let's click on smoothness zero so it looks less smooth park view yes that's what that's the way i like it i'm going to do one last thing which is going to be change the position so over here where, when it starts appearing i'm going to press p on my keyboard where it says position p on my keyboard and right now i'm going to click the time frame watch just like this right you guys see it created a time frame now i'm going to go back just a little bit and I'm gonna drag it down. Okay, so when I press play, it looks more or less like this, okay? Now, what I need to do is I need to animate these lines. So I need to animate this line, the circle, the, the tree lines, etc., etc., etc. So let's animate one by one. So first, what, what, what do we want to appear first? I think maybe the plot, this plaza, right? So plaza line is this one. So let's just enter in and we're gonna go down over here, let's go to add, it says trim paths. And I'm gonna drag it down, click on start over here and drag it to zero. And I'm going to go to the one and a half second mark and drag it to 100. So if we go back to our render, let's see. Perfect. So after the plaza line, I want the guy, right? So let's go to guy in front. Let's drag it down. We don't have this in a pre-composed folder, so we can do it right here. Let's drag it down. Let's go to add trim paths, trim paths and start over here let's drag it to 100 and let's drag it up front a little bit and let's drag it to zero so if you press play on it done and done perfect and finally we would want the tree right the tree would be more or less over here where where it says biodiversity so we can go to the tree line double click drag it down add trim paths trim paths and we can start a little bit before and i'm going to click on start over here drag it to 100 now i'm going to go in front a little bit and drag it to zero so let's see dun 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 perfect now let's go again to our render line and then let's just check it all out plaza guy and tree perfect now the only thing that we need animated is this circle in the line so the circle in the line has to appear before the park view appears so that's the first thing that's going to appear so let's go to the circle which is this one right on top yep and i have to scale it i have to uh, time frame the scale so as you guys can see i have the circle selected the center of the circle is right here but this is a circle, so when I want, if I want to drag this circle over here, you guys can see that it doesn't let me. So I have to press Y on my keyboard and drag it to the middle. Now I'm going to press S on my keyboard, press the time frame for scale, and drag it down to zero. Whoops, zero. Now over here, I'm going to drag it to 100, 120, I'm sorry. 
Now up here, I'm going to put it in 100. It's going to look a little bit like this. Bum. You guys can see. Done. When we're here, I want the line to, to drop off. So we're going to go to our line file, which is this one. And again, we're going to go over here. It says add trim paths, trim paths. Let's see which one is the start. Okay, this one is. So we have to have the start here in the 100. And here we have to have it in zero. So if you press play on it, park view. Now let's just watch it one more time. Now that looks perfect. That looks really, really cool. Now, another thing that I want to do, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to, I want to go to my main folder, which is this one and press S for scale. So I'm going to click the time frame here. It says 50 and here I'm going to put 52. So if I press play on it, it's kind of moving a little bit. You guys, you guys can see, and that is how we do it. So Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. So with much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Uh, Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting your life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. There are classes in various subjects such as illustration, animation, photography, and drawing that for architects are very, very interesting. A class that I am seriously thinking of taking, and you should too, is DKNG Studios 3D Illustration Creating Isometric Diagrams in Illustrator class. As architects, we need to hear more from illustrators and graphic designers, experts in the representation field. Plus, in their class, they show specific tools on 3D diagrams and give, give a different insight into isometric illustration. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual sub subscription is less than $10 a month. So make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. What you find just might surprise and inspire you. So click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity, all right? Okay, so in the final step, uh, we're gonna repeat the same process that we did for our last image. So we're gonna get, again, uh, the titles, the, the outlines, and some of these you can just copy and paste from the other file so you won't have to repeat the same work again. Remember that if you want this After Effects file in this Premiere Pro uh, file, which we can use as you can use as templates for your own projects, you can go to our Patreon page and watch the complete video uh, on our Patreon page, and you will be supporting us. So you can use these templates for your own projects, the templates of the text, and you can see in depth how we created the outlines and the grid. So as you guys can see, it was more or less the same process that we repeated for uh, the other image. And as soon as you guys have this ready, you can go back to Premiere Pro and press Control M on your keyboard for exporting it. And just export, make sure you export it as a H H264 with a mp4 uh, extension and you can put music if you want or you can just leave it as it is so if you want to see that further you can go to our patreon page and this is the final result i think it was a really good image obviously the possibilities here are endless you can create many many more things and it's going to look very very awesome so I was very excited to make this video. I really liked to make, uh, you know, new and different videos 
that we as architects aren't used to doing. So let me know if you guys liked this video. If you want more animation, After Effects videos, there are many, many, many more things we need to cover. So comment down below if you liked it and share it with your friends. I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.